Let's get to the NBA playoffs. Let's get to everything that's about to transpire Saturday, Sunday, and then days to come because this is exciting. Mm. Let's start with my game. You know we got to start with my game. The Lakers versus the Grizzlies. Uh, let, me, let me say this because I was looking at the depth chart. People, you know, people in the group chat, they, I don't know what it is. It's like whenever whenever I tweet something, whenever I comment something, they think that I'm speaking Chinese. I said, their talent and their center does not move me. And then they they, they saying all, they, they making it all complicated stuff. All I said was, their talent and their starting center does not move me. And they get confused. But anywho, that's, that's a different subject another day. I have the Lakers winning the series in six. I think what's going to happen is if Darvin Ham is smart, he would have Anthony Davis guarding Xavier Tillman. He would have, I think, I'll probably put Vanderbilt on Ja. I'll put Vanderbilt It doesn't on matter who you put yes, on Ja. Yes I'll, put, yes, I'll put Vanderbilt on Ja because he, he has the quickness, he has the size. You see what Ja did to the Timberwolves last year? did nothing what are you talking about that was his worst series you mean golden state oh shit. yeah golden state oh, that's oh, where that's uh, where, where no because uh, i remember he had that game winner on him on the on the timberwolves oh yeah yeah, yeah. but he still was awful he was awful that series. Mm-hmm. so so what the timberwolves did is, was he awful mm-hmm, he was awful mm-hmm. he was pretty bad uh, Beverly and um Edwards. oh yeah they did have they Pat had Bev, him on lockdown yeah. so what what the what the timberwolves did they had like a really good like on ball defender on him, and then they had like Cat who sort of roaming the paint, so that way Ja he wouldn't be able to get to the paint as easily. So I think what the Lakers should do, they should sort of do the same thing where they have like Vanderbilt guarding him, and then have AD like guard Tillman, and so he can sort of roam the paint, whatever. Because if he's guarding Jaron Jackson, he's gonna have to step up, and he's not gonna be able to guard the paint. He's not gonna be able to get the rebound. So in order to prevent that, and I think oh, another thing. They should play drop coverage. That's another thing because Ja, he's not he's not really a shooter. A shooter like that. Like he's a standstill shooter, but he's not a mid range shooter. He does a lot of floaters and he he likes to get to the rim. So drop coverage, have AD um, defending Tillman. I'll probably put LeBron on. Um, this is where things get. Into. I might put LeBron on Jaron Jackson. I might. Yes. Yes. Here, put here. LeBron on the weakest offensive player. Because if I put Vanderbilt, if I put Vanderbilt on Ja, then we'll have D'Lo, Reeves, and Braun. How like where am I gonna put those guys? So I have to put LeBron on Jaron Jackson for size purposes. But then Jaron Jackson, I know he's not like he could score a little bit, but he doesn't have an array of moves, so I'm not really worried. And then to um, make sure that LeBron doesn't get tired, I'll sub him out, like, I would say maybe five, four minutes left and just have, like, a lineup with, like, a defensive lineup, maybe with Troy Brown, maybe with Roy come in or something for LeBron. That's how I would do it, to sort of um, monitor his minutes. I would have LeBron on Jaron Jackson Jr. I have AD on Tillman. I would have Reeves on um, Bain. I would have D'Lo on Brooks. And then I would have um, Vanderbilt on Ja. That's how I would do it. Why why are you why are you making that face? I'm telling you, you know who's going to be the wild card in this series? Dylan Brooks. Yes. And you want your worst defender on him? He sucks. And he, that's the point. Okay. That's the point. Wait a minute. You got to keep the bozos in check. You got to keep the guys that shouldn't get their game off in you check. You think Dylan Brooks is going to cook D'Lo? I actually do. One game, at least one game out of the series, you're going to be like, Dylan Brooks ain't like that for real. On God, he's going to shoot three for 17, and you're going to be like, damn, he sucks. I mean, it's bound to happen, but bro, come on, bro. all he needs is one game. What if worried. that one game is game seven? Bro, I'm not. that's not happening. Okay. Dylan Brooks, he's not like that. He's not built like that. We know who he is. Mm-hmm. Let's not act like he, he is who he is. I tell you, how many times do I have to, every year there's a dude in the playoffs that has fake performances? You think it's Dylan Brooks? No. What? Did you think it was going to be T.J. Warren that one year? Did you think it was that's going to be bubble. Grant Williams that's that last year? That's the bubble. Did you think it was going to be Grant Williams? I mean, Grant Williams can he could shoot. Mm-hmm. Grant Williams is a shooter. You think? Did you think it was going to be Derek White? Derek White is a shooter and he can score a little bit. What does Dylan Brooks do besides talk? 
We shall see. Exactly. Yeah, we shall see. I'm not worried at all. I'm putting D'Lo on Dylan Brooks. That's how I'm looking at it. And I, I see the series going to six. I'm not worried at all. As long as everybody is healthy, which I believe they will be, knocking on wood, I have the Lakers winning this series. It's a party in my city. Lakers in seven. Lakers in seven. Okay. Yeah. All right. So both both the Warriors and the Kings series, they go, they both going to seven. They going to seven. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. That series. You think you think the Warriors not going to handle the business at home? You think they're not going to get one road game? Really? So you think no road team is going to win until um, game seven? Oh, man. I got dubs in seven. That's tough. Hmm. You know what? I'll take I'll take you on that. I I believe they'll go to seven. And I have the Warriors too. I just think they're experienced. Yeah. It's, it's just too good. Um Stephen Curry, he's the best player on the floor, obviously. And I think that the Warriors, they Although the Kings' offense is high-powered, I just think uh, defensively the Warriors are still one of the best in the league, especially with Wiggins back now. Yep. He's going to be a wild card in that series. He's going to definitely turn the tide on the series a lot. And and the Warriors play well against the Kings, too. So that's another thing. So, All right. Um, next series, let's go. We're going to keep it the Western Conference. Suns and Clippers, I have the Suns. Like, Suns you know, and six. Suns and six? Yeah. I'll I give you six. I'll give you the six. Because I think the Clippers, they're going to have some fight in them. Yeah. They'll probably win their home games, but. I said they'll, they'll split. I think they'll, yeah, they'll win. They'll win two home games, and I think that's that's how it will be. I just think that they just don't have no Paul George, so it's going to be a problem for them. I think even if they did have Paul George, I would pick the Suns. I'd pick the Suns in seven if they had Paul George. Yeah, me too. I would too. So, yeah, I, I have the Suns in seven. I meant six. So, really nothing much to say there. And then um, – Nuggets in the Timberwolves or whoever wins that last who, whoever, play. Whoever is matching – I'm going I'm, to Nuggets. I'm going to Nuggets. Sorry. Like, I just don't see a team. If it's – but if it's the Timberwolves, that series might go to seven. Yeah, it might. Or it goes six. Yeah, Actually, six. I think it'll probably go six. I'm not really a believer – in the Timberwolves too much because number one, Rudy Gobert is a problem. <laughs> and no Jaden McDaniels, that's another problem. No Nas Reed, that's a problem. So I probably go I probably say go to six. Uh is, what is, is did we forget? We might have forgotten the series. Um, no. No, that's it. That's all the Western yeah. Conference. Okay, so let's go to the Eastern Conference. And first of all, whoever plays the Bucks, I have the Bucks in, in four. Like if it's the so. Bulls, probably five. Five. I have a sweep. I'm gonna go with a sweep. You say so. The Bulls always play the Bucks tough. Mm. I'm gonna go with a sweep. Um, let's go to two two seven matchup. That would be the Hawks and the, the Celtics. Celtics. I'm gonna go Celtics. Celtics. They're getting up out of there. Celtics and four. Actually, no, 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 no. I take that back. Celtics and five. Celtics have been playing up and down. I think I think they'll lose. They might lose the game. I say. I'm gonna say Celtics in four. I'm gonna go five on that one. So then we go three to six, and we have Philly and Nets. I'm gonna go Philly, Philly. in five. Yeah, Philly in five. Just like just like a few years ago when they played against each other. But there's no Jared Dudley this time. <laughs> uh, let's go to four, the four and the five matchup. That would be Cleveland and New York. I'm gonna go Cleveland on this one. Cavs and six. Yeah, Cavs and six. Uh, Julius Randle. Him. I'm expecting a Julius Randle disaster class. Especially with Evan Mobley guarding him, mm-hmm. Jalen Brunson gonna have to do a lot of carrying. I think. Or well, R.J. Barrett got to step up, but hmm. I think Donovan Mitchell's gonna have a. Oh yeah. He's gonna have a party. Especially on on the on the road. Oh man, when he gets to New York, he's gonna go crazy. Like he's just gonna, he's gonna just keep proving why the organization should have traded for him. But yeah, I have, I have that in six. Actually, you know what? I might have it in five. Mm. I might have it in five. I think you know, I'm, I'm going to have it in five. Okay. I really think Cleveland is that much better than them. Because the whole thing with Julius Randle is a question mark. We don't know if he's going to be available game one. And number two, I just think that Cleveland has too much firepower. And defensively, they're one of the best. 
I like Cleveland in five this game. Just like uh, remember when they played the Hawks and people thought, oh, this is going to be a yeah. good game series. I think this is the situation okay. just like with that where we think it's going to be a good series, but ultimately it's not. That's fair. All right. So that's the first round. Second round. Well, then again, I will we'll wait on it. Yeah, let's we'll let's wait. wait. We'll wait on we'll wait. that. We'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah. yeah. So let that's some the of the games round. play out first. So to remind you guys, first round Western Conference, we have the Nuggets winning. I have the Lakers. We we have the Lakers winning. I think. Yeah, we both agree on that. We have the Suns winning. We have the Warriors winning. So that's four teams. And then the Eastern Conference, we have Cleveland winning. We have Milwaukee. Milwaukee winning. We have the Celtics winning. And, and we have the Sixers. Sixers winning. So that's those are the four teams. Those are eight teams, excuse me. And that'll do it. Cold world, still a cold world. And a couple of y'all is cool, but we a little more thorough. <laughs> Whole time, a little more girls. You know I spent that six shit and it's still no cure. Hold up, loud packs, 